pegs are knocked down every 15 minutes or so. The 100-foot Focal Fax Pendulum that tells time is one of the major attractions inside the Science Museum of Virginia. But it's what's going on outside that will soon bring in record crowds. An $8.5 million renovation project is in the works and should be complete by next summer. Changes include a state-of-the-art train exhibit, fitting since the 80-year-old building was once a rail station. 250,000 square feet of indoor and outdoor exhibit space will also be added. Plus, the museum's grounds will be upgraded to enhance the historical image of the grand old building. This building is not only a magnificent neoclassical structure, when it was built, it was built beyond the suburbs of Richmond so that it stood out on this knoll on which it's built. New additions also include 50% more parking, a mini amphitheater, and an outdoor plaza for visiting exhibits. One of the oldest exhibits here at the museum is this giant sundial. It has seen over 5,000 sunrises and sunsets, and you can literally set your watch by it. But come Monday, it will be gone. That's because this concrete it's painted on is being torn up. It's all part of the renovations. Over 300,000 visitors a year come to this museum. The school's family comes here a couple times a year. We enjoy it quite a bit. We've been here on a number of occasions, and it's a great place to come for the kids to learn and to also have fun. And that is what this museum is all about, having fun while learning at the same time. Today, in 1995, the Science Museum of Virginia is doing the same thing with this magnificent old building. It's articulating the best of science and technology to the public. Officials expect once the renovations are complete, a lot more people, young and old, will walk through these doors. In Richmond, Chris O'Connell, News Channel 6.